I like the countdown. The countdown is really good. Brood War could use that. We actually have such silly things. Oh, you know, good. Let's pause it some more, Mar Hero Marine. Jesus. Uh, we actually have some silly things that occur in, in uh, Brood War. Like, you can actually, before you can see it on the screen, uh, you can click your command center. So as soon as the screen goes black, you're supposed to click so you get your SCV quicker. Okay. You know what this is reminding me of? The amount of pausing and time that Hero Marine is taking. I don't know if you guys recall him, but he was a pro at the beginning of StarCraft II known as Phoenix from Peru. He was actually a pretty pretty high level guy. I believe he's on Fnatic if I'm remembering correctly. But anyways, he was a he was one of the stronger non-Korean players in StarCraft 1 before StarCraft 2 came out. And that guy would pause the game so often when you were practicing with him. It was the most annoying it became such a meme. Just pause the game all the time. Just fucking waste everyone's time. Always a different excuse. Gotta feed my dogs, gotta let my dogs in. You know, my dogs are barking. <laughs> I guess they were all dog-based excuses, but seriously. Anyways, uh, let's do it. Got the double gas on both sides. Okay, I like to see the mirror. This is a good way to open, right? No one's gonna catch in with the build order. This is probably gonna be exactly the same thing. Maybe we'll get that beautiful three reaper, two hellion battle that we just love so much in TVT. One thing to mention is you do have this high ground ramp for your natural, right? So it's going to be very hard for people to attack in when you have similar amounts of units. If not impossible in a throw. Hammering coming up with his SCV on the other side. Spirit not scouting, just choosing to play it blind. Sees the factory, sees the timing of said factory, knows that they are doing the exact same builds. All right. Reapers are out. Secondary Reapers on the way. Planes will start as these finish up as well. And of course, those command centers are going to want to be made. ASAP. And there's the command center there for Spirit. You can notice that Spirit's factory was just slightly faster and his command center just slightly faster. You know, it does make a difference if you uh, scout or don't scout uh, as far as mining goes. Uh, you know, a lot of the times I think when uh, you're not like a really high level player, you don't really notice as much, but... Um, it, trust me, it, like when you get up to this pro gamer level, it is, it is insane the difference that you get in minerals. That's why you know he, I, I don't know if anyone remembers Show. He became a Hearthstone pro, but he was a StarCraft pro in the beginning, uh, and how he would literally not scout. He just wanted the income. <laughs> it was like such a joke. He went Banshee every game, would never scout. It was like such a joke. Uh, <laughs> but obviously a good player, right? Great results and everything. Very smart guy. Had his plans. And, uh, you know, did 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 well in the beginning of StarCraft 2. Alright, so Command Center is going to be finishing up, as are the Starports. Cyclone's coming out. Second Cyclone uh, over on Spirit's side. Right? Or am I completely hallucinating? I am. Never mind. Sorry. Air Marine just got a quicker Cyclone, and the Cyclone is now being made over here. And, of course, Raven coming in. Okay, are we, I imagine we're going to see a Raven from Hero Marine as well. Yeah. Okay. We got a, we got a, a crazy one this time, guys. Look at those production tabs. Wow, that depot from Hero Marine is really on point. Or actually, it's it's behind. <laughs> you got supply blocked. Oh, no. Oh, no. All 
All right, so the double raven, pretty normal stuff. We do have the three uh, reaper and two hellion. And down on hero marine side, uh, not as many. This is why he was able to get the cyclone out more quickly. I got confused for a moment because he skipped the second hellion. I uh, he did get a few more marines here as well. Looks like he's getting ready to start that stim upgrade. In the meantime, third command center has been started on both sides. A little bit quicker here from Hero Marine. Just nothing happening. They are just blowing through their builds right now. Just nailing everything, optimizing as much as possible. Sitting in somewhat defensive formations. There's literally no vision. This is how far his vision goes. You're not afraid of anything? And now finally, Hero Marine deciding to scout a little bit. Sending out these units that really don't matter that much anymore. A little bit surprised that hasn't occurred over here, to be honest. Like, why does Spirit not send a Reaper out and just get any intel in the whole world? What are you going to do, lose it? That's actually great if you lose it, because that means that you saw units coming at you, and now you know. So. <laughs> please. Please. Okay. Now, here we go. This is the move out. The three Raven. And we should have three over here, right? Actually... Kind of wasn't paying enough attention. No, he's just making more add-ons and stuff. Okay, but lots of seed chanks. Four seed chanks for Hero Marine. Looks like that third command center going to float down. Time for Hero Marine as well as he finishes up that orbital. I like that Hellion on the side. I like this Reaper on the side as well. Definitely prefer the way that Hero Marine is playing it just slightly. I like the uh, the extra tank and everything as well. But three ravens against two. I don't mind the three ravens. All right, Stim going to be finishing up here. Both sides getting 1-1 one, one at very similar times. Dude, this is such a mirror. It's kind of crazy. Like, they do have little tiny things that they've changed from each other here. But it is extremely close as far as build orders go. They're really going to have almost the same stuff. Spirit actually up five workers. Kind of impressive. Little catch there. Your Marine picking off uh, that Hellion. Can't quite get away. All right, sensor tower going up here for Hero Marine. Sitting back pretty defensively. Spirit a little bit further up here. Okay, loads up a couple medevacs. In fact, a siege tank in one of them. It's kind of an interesting unit set. This is a lot of high energy ravens. So definitely some potential here. Like for instance, this drop going in, if you take all of your loose units and send them in and then we get three, uh, you know, oh God, actually siege is up in range, painful. But uh, if you go ahead and do like three disables, that's gonna be a big move. Now, we have this going in. A little bit of a harassment over there, but uh, the drop-off in the main base by Spirit is very strong. So the loose units are coming up. Now, this is the moment where you could see him try to do something at the front. The Air Marine taking some time to actually push Spirit out of here. Oh, man. Disables the tank immediately. He will get rid of that. And here is that move that we were talking about, right? The four tanks actually disappear before we could even click back. The Ravens absolutely demolishing there, but here is the big move from Spirit. Spirit gains a gigantic advantage here. The drop in the main base was already solid, I think. And then this just wrecks. Just wrecks. Your Marine will save the command center, but the cost here was gigantic. He took so much damage. Look at that. 49 workers against 67. Now we have a containment up. Uh, <coughs> Your Marine does have high energy on the Ravens. So we have some potential there, right? Oh my god, he sacrifices to kill the two ravens. Okay, Spirit has so destroyed Hero Marine. The ravens were really, in in my eyes here, the one way that he might be able to break out, right? Maybe a couple disables auto turrets and, and go. Uh, instead, I mean, Hero Marine doesn't have any other choices, and, and Spirit should literally know that this is the only thing that can be happening. In fact, he just scanned on top of it, and he should see a lot of things are missing. Will he get any units into position here? Like, three medevacs, this is dangerous. Yeah, there might be some good counter damage. 
Okay, SCVs get pulled up and go all over the Marines there. Oof. Dude, that is, that is pretty deadly. I feel like uh, there was enough information here for Spirit to be a little bit more ready than he was for that. Especially after killing the two Ravens, you don't have to worry about your opponent busting out as easily. So you're probably able to uh, split your units a little bit more. So I think that Hero Marine, I mean, he, he good on him. He took the one avenue he had for, for counterplay and executed it really quite well. But yeah, Spirit still has this containment up. Still has his three bases mining, even though he took some serious damage there. The worker count's a bit closer, but again, you have those additional mineral patches. Very, very important. On Hero Marine's side, it looks like he's going to go ahead and do a Liberator push. But no, no Vikings on either side. Because Liberator pushes work until someone has more Vikings. And look, oh my god, he disables a tank and then runs up and kills the Liberator. That's really cute. But another one coming out. And he will go ahead and do the same move once again. That Liberator actually came out a little bit too quickly. This tank was still disabled, so missed a, an additional volley. Uh, and once again, look at this. Oh, my God. Okay, well, that's it. That's game. GG. GG. He literally just lost four medevacs full of units. Like, I mean, there's you're not coming back from that. Just completely stuck. Mineral patch is almost gone. Yeah, I mean, he's trying He's trying to siege tank push out of here, but the ravens are gaining energy and everything. Look at this, his own raven, lol. Honestly, even disabling this would be fine. Oh, boy. Okay, so this is the last moment. Like, a little drop off in there. This is... I guess that was the last hurrah of Hero Marine. Well, I guess not. I mean, this guy's... He's going to give it the old college try here. But I tell you... <laughs> uh, this, this really does not look good. Like, he's down 60 supply. Uh, you know, a good 16 workers. He doesn't have his third. But I don't know. Maybe... Maybe there can be some sort of comeback. He lands his third. Okay, but the fourth base is up for Spirit. It is a lot of tanks right here. Right? That's that's a big deal. Let's switch to units. Eight tanks against two. That's a big deal, man. Maybe maybe Hero Marine, if he, if he wins this, it, like that is a game that you will really kick yourself over as as spirit because spirit was so far ahead but look at all these tanks oh my god is hero marine gonna do it he's killed so much bio look at this if spirit's gonna get three three hero marine is skipping any more upgrades he's got just two two on his marines oh but that's a lot of bio coming in man gg okay i mean a, a a good final try there but spirit dominated that from the beginning that was that was pretty one-sided and i think it, the thing is i think spirit like had more information if he had acted upon it the game would have been over way before like when you scan and you see that little there it's like he doesn't have that little and the pickoff of the two ravens was so big because that allows him to split those units a bit more All right, we're going to get into game number two. Spirit leads. One to zero. Huh? Oh, okay. I'll be up in just a little bit, okay? Thank you. Oh, my cutest little three-year-old just came down and told me, Daddy, it's time to eat. <laughs> All right. Here we go, guys. Aramine versus Spirit. On Royal Blood.
Okay, so we have Hero Marine here in the bottom left, and we have Spirit up here in the top right. Guys, I'll be back in just one moment. BRB. All right. Sorry about that, guys. <clears throat> okay. Do we have mirrored builds? Yes, we do. Are we going to sit here for seven minutes and wait for them to move out? Yes, we are. Let's go. Hmm. All right, all right. So factory openers here, reapers on the way. Uh, these naturals are not ramped, so there is a little bit more chance of moving out. Uh, if you recall in the previous game, uh, Hero Marine didn't make the second uh, Hellion. Uh, and in fact, I believe he made two reapers instead of three. So if you were to try something like that to get like a quicker cyclone like Hero Marine did in that previous game, on this map, it would potentially be punishable because you're you're not going to get first volley with the lesser amount of units, right? So it's more likely that your opponent has potential to poke. It's not that they 100% will, but it is a possibility. Uh, Hero Marine here goes for the reactor after the Reaper. So let's see if he goes to Reaper from that. He does. Okay. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. That's clean. And just Spirit doing the normal, right? Three Reaper straight out. Make two Hellions. Very, very standard stuff. All right, out come the uh, two Reapers. So he has everything in time. In fact, it all comes out about the same time as the other way. Uh... We have the uh, starport coming up. And both of them sitting in that defensive formation, right? Just sitting in a line so that they all shoot at the same time if anything comes in. Very strong group of units. Oh, a fourth and a fifth. Uh, will he get a medevac with this? Nope. Okay. Because I've seen some of these things where it's like actually a little bit heavier on the Reapers. And then you go medevac. Uh, and you can actually do some funny things with that. Like drop the Hellions and just jump up with the Reapers, that type of thing. But right now, uh, it's Hero Marine just pushing out. He has three Hellions and three Reapers here against two Hellions and three Reapers. Ooh, that is that is some good dodging right there. Ooh, the grenade does get a hit. Turns around. Two more Reapers coming up to join in. So it seems like this will go to Hero Marine. Uh, but as a Cyclone comes out, of course, the Cyclone can just about kill everything by itself. So we'll force that all back. Second Cyclone on the way, as well as that Raven. Raven going to fly out just for some harassment. I think not a bad choice. Like, yeah, I mean, normally you have a Cyclone at home, but might be able to pop in there, throw down the auto turret. Third command center on the way, this side as well. All right, siege tanks and Ravens. <laughs> it's that time, guys, where we get our third command centers and build Ravens and siege tanks see what this one can get done. Three kills. 
four kills. Hey, that's awesome. <laughs> you got four kills with that thing. Fantastic. You can't get more than that. Still feels like very good harassment as well. Okay, Spirit going in again. Let's see it. Two, three. That can't be right that you don't pull anything, right? If you pull, you lose one. Hmm. All right, double Viking going to be coming out. So I'm going to start working on that air dominance a bit more. So Spirit right now, three Ravens. Has tank production going. Third command center done. Making Vikings. Let's take a look at Hero Marine. Uh, he has right now three of his own. Three siege tanks. Uh, and he's actually going into the Viking production as well. Okay, so there's going to be a real battle coming up here, right? Because once you have that air dominance, you can start an actual siege tank push. Even against siege tanks as they shoot further than they can see. So having the air dominance to push things back going to be incredibly important, but Spirit's Vikings are faster, right? So he already has two, and he's going to have two more with his army before the two of Hero Marine gets up. Like, honestly, I think if you see two Vikings right now, you just have to turn around. There's no potential here for Hero Marine. The one thing he could do, perhaps, is siege here just to force Spirit to very slowly take a third base, right? That's the only thing that I can really think of, but he should not be able... And look, he's sending the Marines up, just to kind of make sure nothing's coming up and like sieging him right away. But yeah, that's that's basically what we saw there. Uh, the third command center actually goes over to this base instead. So we have the triangle set up here from Hero Marine on the bases, whereas going horizontal, you hear Force Spirit. So you know, uh, let's see if he's able to defend everything. Will Hero Marine be a little bit more aggressive this game? has been sitting back a bit more. W Bay is on both sides going, but a little bit quicker here for Spirit. Kind of a big deal, right? If you're ever engaging with a plus two upgrades over your opponent with the same units, you will win that almost no matter what. Backs up. Good zoning there from Spirit. Very healthy amount of Vikings. Let's just keep a look on the Viking count. Seven to six right now, three to three. It's like a very important metric to take a look at. Right? The, whoever has more Vikings has that air dominance. It can be incredibly important in TVT. Unless you lose all your siege tanks, man, and then the Vikings are garbage against the bio. Just gotta be careful about that. Now the double medevac lift uh lifting off to the side. Obviously, this sensor tower does not see all the way. You can see the edge there. Obviously, he knows about that, so going to fly right in. There's no defense whatsoever in the main base. So, definitely has some potential for damage. We saw Spirit do this in the previous game as well, and here Marine was really not ready for it. Oh! There was something there. Oh, a single Marine got sent up, but I'm not sure that he saw it. Quick pull away with his SCVs, so only losing four or five. Okay, loses five. Okay, undoes, well, disables the medevac, so I guess you're not supposed to be able to get out of here now. Viking going to help clean that up. The Marine's just going to fight each other. 1-1 one, one on both sides here. And once again, a big push. Oh, my God. Mass auto turrets going down for Spirit and pushes into the front. Oh, my God. I almost missed that. But that's a pretty powerful position. You can't walk tanks out over to here, and Hero Marine is instantly going to pull everything. Can he actually break it, though? This should be pretty efficient for Spear, but it should get broken. So 13 more workers fall, but Hero Marine is actually up in workers still? What? What universe am I living in? How is he up in workers? <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. And supply very similar as well. All right, 
Alright, everything gets pushed back. Yeah, trying to siege up here. Ooh, a nice land on the Vikings as the tank on sieges. That was actually, that was very well timed. If he lands any later, he doesn't get that. Really, really nice. And I definitely saw a Viking get picked up into a medevac, which is always exciting to see. All right, Spirit getting pushed back right now. He does not have many tanks. There's two tanks against seven tanks. And Hero Marine realizes that this is a great opportunity for him. He actually lands these Vikings to tank damage. And his tanks are absolutely decimating. Now, Spirit's about to have 2-2. As 2-2 finishes, his Marines will massacre the other Marines, but Siege Tanks obviously make a bigger difference. So definitely a bit of a problem there. Spirit right now making a couple Liberators to support his small siege count. His second factory gets started, but it is like a little bit late for this situation, I think. It's going to take a while before he actually gets ahead in that siege tank count. Your Marine continuing to go forward, rallying his troops as well. In fact, stimming them across the battlefield to catch up here more quickly. And that is like a pretty dominating fight right there. A ton of Marines dying off and Spirit loses... What in the hell happened? We lost 22 SCVs during that? Like, I guess it was over here. What, it... <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, man. <laughs> well, I guess we'll just never know. Uh, okay, the tanks start to siege up. Utilizing this Liberator, just kind of zoning everything out while attacking into this third base. Your Marine definitely looking good here. They'll attack in with the Marines, trying to spread them around these siege tanks. Uh, they do have that advantage over here, Marines, Marines, but only for a few more seconds here. And this command center going to end up falling. So here, Marine really outdoing Spirit at the moment. I'm I'm impressed. Like, uh, it felt like Spirit was outdoing here, Marine with the drop plus the push in, but here, Marine pulling his SCVs, just breaking through everything immediately. Really, really well done. Now here, Marine might get stuck in here. Yeah, I guess he is going to. That's a lot of lost units right there. Good 20 supply down the tube. Okay, here, Marine. Mining very, very well. 70 workers to 54. Much lower in army supply, right? Well, not much lower. Just a tad. Let's take a look at the actual army count. Four tanks to three, okay. Five to four medevacs, okay. 44, 49, okay. Little bit of air dominance for Spirit. So at least he's got that. Oh my god, another drop goes off in the main base. He didn't kill the command center, by the way. The command center did float down. No, it didn't. What? No, it is floating, okay. It's like, what? He definitely didn't kill the command center. That was not in there for that long. Uh, so that floated over here, and over here he made uh, a planetary, so... All right, Spirit does get rid of that. Has his own massive drop in the main base here. Hero Marine completely unready. Now he does kill the command center. Is Spirit going to be able to actually take it with this huge drop? <laughs> That's kind of crazy. He does kill that one siege tank. Spots a little bit here with the medevac, making sure no tanks can sneak up on him. Oh, <laughs> somehow still alive. Now, a triple medevac drop actually going up here in Spirit. Coming in to attack the planetary as well. Oh my god, there's so much damage all over the place. Hero Marine going for a dive in the main. The main looks much better defended here for Spirit. He has that siege shank there. Ooh, the flanking turret doing a good job. Planetary here, so you can't attack. In the meantime, his own planetary going to fall down to siege tank fire. And all these units still in the main base. Are you kidding me? Spirit's going to take this, man. What a wild back and forth game. absolute madness another push out here into the front gg is called spirit leads two to zero <laughs> two to zero guys all right all right oh okay so 
We are uh, waiting for game number three. Very, like, that was a good game. That was very back and forth. Uh, I really felt like Spirit was winning, and then I really felt like uh, Hero Marine was winning, and then Spirit came right back. I think that big drop in the main base was was key, and then he killed the planetary, whereas Hero Marine's counter drops were less tech-based, right? No siege shanks with them. So he kind of got pushed out of there pretty quickly. All right, we are in game number three. Will Spirit take it so that I can go eat my dinner? Or will Hero Marine begin the run back? <laughs> we will see. I like how someone named Tasteless is in the lobby. It is absolutely not Tasteless, in case anyone was wondering. That's cool. I didn't know I could scroll around during that. All right. Hero Marine in the top left of Dragon Scales. In the bottom right, we have Spirit. He is leading two to zero. Two to zero. Control shift five. There you go. Best of five. See, I fixed that all. I... <laughs> oh, look. Units lost. See? I know that, too. Okay. Wall in. Not wall in. Let's look at dragon scales a little bit. Is your natural ramps nat? Possible third, possible third. Pretty wide open here, but it does have the rocks. Quite wide open here. We got high ground that goes down. Hmm. Map feels big, but not. It doesn't feel like the it's as rich as uh, some of the other maps that we've been looking at today. Anyway, it's always exciting to get some new maps out. Thank you, everyone, for coming by and, and checking out the stream here today. Just having some fun uh, casting the ESL Cup. Hope that you guys are enjoying. There is a two-minute delay, so sorry we can't interact a little bit more. I might do this again in the future with an observer so that I'm on real time with everyone else. Uh, we'll see about that. I'm going to look into it this coming week. Uh, I've already decided I will not be casting uh, the cup tonight. My voice is getting really, really tired. But maybe next week we'll do the NA cup. That would be... Uh, maybe maybe that's what we'll do. But I will have my normal stream tonight. Just so everyone knows, my normal stream starts in two and a half hours now. And uh, yeah, it's... Uh, follow, follow my stream and, and watch in two and a half hours. <laughs> All right, so we have the command center coming down quickly. And once again, Hero Marine going for that quick factory. So very, very, very different builds this time. Even though we had some uh, very similar builds. The same builds, exactly the same in the last game. And then very similar in game number one. And Spirit was able to take both those down. But it didn't feel like he took those down because his optimizations were better. To be honest, I felt like uh, Gabe's optimizations were a little bit better there. So, yeah, it's it's hard to uh, explain completely, but I'm going to go ahead and throw down a bunker. It's going to protect him from possible incoming frontal attacks, but of course, with three Reapers, you always have the potential to jump up and deal some damage el uh, some other way. I'm interested to see how Spirit wants to play this. All right, so starport coming up quickly. No big surprise there. I imagine it's going to be like Hellion. Uh, or, yeah, one Hellion should be fine into Cyclone, I think. Because he's got the bunker. Like, I guess theoretically you could run by the bunker, but it doesn't leave you good micro room. Uh, so I think that, like, basically these two plus Hellion hold everything. Oh, he actually goes for a second Hellion. Okay. A little bit safer, a little bit safer. Because I was going to suggest that... Uh, you go into Cyclone immediately thereafter, and then he's just kind of safe against everything, right? Seed Shank on the way. 
Just the standard two Hellion, three Reaper opener here from Hero Marine. Alright, we have the Cyclone coming in. And, yeah, just Raven coming up. Okay, okay. And let's see what, uh, what Hero Marine can get done this game. So this is definitely a very different push that we're seeing from one Siege Shank, four Marines, three... <laughs> Look, it's almost like the, the five days of Christmas here, <laughs> right? One siege tank, two Hellions. Okay, the bunker is holding pretty well so far. Like a little tiny bit of damage being done. I mean, his own tank is going to be coming relatively soon. Oh, he is taking some big damage on his SCVs that are trying to repair. I feel like you should be spreading that a little bit. Ooh, the disable, but nothing to back it up. Nothing to back up that disable. That's... It was a quick unsiege, so kudos to that. But I feel like you want to have something in position for that. Now, that does slow him down a little bit and is going to buy some time for this siege tank to come out, which is incredibly important. Uh, goes ahead and can't quite salvage that bunker, but gets his own siege tank out. So Spirit's okay. He is up a couple workers even after that. Third command center gets started, so he's going to try to push that forward. Third command center started here for Hero Marine as well. And it looks like Spirit just going to be able to hold everything as it kind of pushes a little bit too aggressively there. Almost surprised that we saw that occur. Oh, does not get the last shot, but Hero Marine, in fact, does. He kills both of them. Are you kidding me? Uh, lands an auto turret, though, and does finish off that one. Okay, that was, that was some wild scrapping going on. So we saw one Raven die for your Marine, two end up dying here for Spirit. Spirit's economy has been doing just slightly better this game, but I don't think it's anything to really write home what? about. You donated ten dollars. Thanks for the continued awesome content, man. Happy New Year to you and your family, fan from New Zealand. Thank you very much, Hugh. I appreciate it. Thanks for the tip. I'm glad that you're enjoying. I'm having a great time casting some Star Two today. Uh, and learning about, like, the new evolving metagame from this new patch. Uh, by the way, everyone, the patch did go live on NA. So if you want to play on this new patch, uh, go right ahead. Yeah, thank you very much, Hugh. Cheers, man. Thanks for watching. All right, more barracks coming up. Going up to five racks play here for Hero Marine, as is pretty standard. And then we have just three racks right now, but double eBay starting both sides. A little bit quicker for Hero Marine. Oh, nice pullback there. Hero Marine trying to be uh, a little bit annoying here with the Cyclone. Always good to be annoying. One of the best ways to play video games. I don't play to win. I play to make my opponents lose. And there we go. Yeah, the additional two barracks. I was wondering about that. I didn't see those. It's like, where the hell is his production? His economy didn't get hurt. What's going on? Or not badly, at least. All right, so third command center's up for both sides. The production tab's looking very, very similar at the moment. You can see that Hero Marine is pumping out a couple of medevacs, right? And that's something that we do not have here for Spirit, and that's been a big part of the play against Hero Marine. Hero Marine has been taking pretty significant damage from medevac drops uh, in the mid-game. He just hasn't really had the defense for them. In this particular game, though, Spirit foregoing what has done so well for him and the, you know, here we're kind of taking up that mantle. Now, there is a depot being built over to the side, so not entirely sure if he's going to be able to spot this. Of course, you got to move quickly. He's got enough units right here to block it if he sees it. Okay, and here Marine's just going to say, I assume that you saw it. Let's kill the depot. Which, you know, that's, it's a good play. It's a good play. And he scans and just sees the two Vikings. The Vikings are about to slip out of the scan area, and he just saw them, so... 
Uh, a good turnaround there from Hero Marine, who is going to join up with all of the rest of his army in the center of the map. Taking a look at the actual army power here. Six Siege Shanks against five. Six Vikings uh, for, uh, for Spirit and none for Hero Marine. So air dominance, 100% going to Spirit. Uh, he should be fine here. I can't imagine him being broken, honestly. It's like one Raven on each side, plus he has the air dominance, plus he has plenty of Siege Shanks. It, like one more Siege Shank doesn't matter that much, I think. All right, a couple of disables coming down, but no, I don't think that's going to work for Hero Marine at all. We'll see. All right, a disable goes down on his own, uh, but both of his disabled Siege Shanks end up living and we'll get some shots. The air dominance doing a great job keeping him completely in vision. And yeah, Hero Marine's attack. I would definitely call that a fail. That was that was a strong, solid hold from Spirit. I think that was very well dealt with by Spirit, honestly. I like his position more right now. He started his 2-2 a little bit quicker. Uh, the That fourth command center, do, do we have the, the fourth only just started? Look at this, it only just started. So, so Spirit is definitely, it's screwing me up that he goes by Spirit now. Uh, <laughs> uh, Spirit is definitely uh, going to get that additional base more quickly, which is really, really nice. Now, a nice rotation from Hero Marine, trying to come down the other side. But once again, the Vikings showing their power. Yeah, you have the Medvax, which can heal, but they don't really give vision. Yeah, they're healing, but Sea Shanks kill Marines so quickly. I'm not sure that it matters that much. And this is a reasonable siege line, but it doesn't cover everything. Look at the, the furthest out siege tank. Wait, well, he just unsieged, so I can't show you now, but... Basically, what I'm trying to say is there's a corridor here. Spirit still has unit movement. Ooh. Well, this could have been good, but Spirit does have some units nearby, so he should not lose the command center. Okay, comes in with his stim. Everything has to turn around. Your Marine, by the way, is starting plus two vehicle attacks. I, I Oh, no, that's plus one. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, my God. The drop in the main base kills the main command center for Hero Marine? Absolute madness. GG is called, and that's going to be it. Sudden ending right there. Uh, and that means that we have victory for, for Hero Marine. <laughs> I mean, for Spirit.